I know there's a lot of you guys that won't hop on here, but I had to hop on here and say this. I put it on my story, but I was like, this isn't enough. I need to go ahead and, and do it on my actual thing. Because if someone would have said this to me when I first started, it would not have taken me month after month after month after month after month of blaming everybody else to actually get started and work my own business and make it happen for myself. So, um, I wanted to come on here because I see this all the time and I saw it in myself when I first got started. Okay. When I first started, my enroller quit literally like a month after I got started, she started tapping out. And then I got a message from her randomly. Um, she never really checked in on me. What she did teach me was was wrong. Like it was not the right way to work a business. And now I can see why she wasn't successful because she wasn't doing things accurately. She wasn't actually trying. She wasn't staying consistent. She didn't know how to run a business. And that's why she went pew and, and her business never really took off. And um now I think about it and I'm like, I'm grateful that she didn't teach me because if she would have, then I probably wouldn't be where I am right now. I probably would have quit because it wouldn't have worked for me either. Right. And I would have stayed in that same exact mindset, putting her in my proximity. Right. So her leaving was actually a gift and your enroller leaving might be a gift too, you know? And so I want you to understand this. Okay. If you're sitting here and whether you're saying it out loud or you're thinking it in your head and you're blaming your enroller for not being there 100% 24-7 for you, right? Or you're blaming um, your enroller for not being just not being 100% there, right? We can't all be there at once, right? I understand that. But if you're sitting there blaming your enroller or your or the company for your lack of success it has nothing to do with either of those and i want you to know this that we need to stop blaming other people for our lack of success because we all have the same 24 hours in a day we all have the same resources we all have have facebook we all have youtube we all have google we all have we all have the same connect app last time i checked we all have the same 24 hours in a day I do not have 26 hours. I have 24 hours just like everyone. I have kids just like everyone. And when I first started this business, I worked two jobs just like everybody else. I literally did everything the same. My enroller quit and I had to make a decision. Am I going to allow that to completely freeze me and stop me? Am I going to allow somebody who wasn't there for me from the beginning, right, to stop me from being successful? Or am I going to say, move out the way and let me go and do it myself? right? Blaming your enroller or blaming your company for your lack of success is like signing up for the gym and then saying, I'm not going to put my shoes on. I'm not going to walk in the door. And then going to that gym and saying, I've been here for 90 days and I haven't lost a freaking pound. Really? Do you see how crazy that sounds? Do you see how crazy that sounds? Because that's exactly what you're doing when you're telling somebody else or you are blaming the company or your enroller for you not being successful. The reason why you're not successful, and I'm going to be so red with you because I love you so much and you need to hear this right now. The reason why you're not successful is because you're not showing up. You are not doing the things that you need to do to be successful. You are not putting what you have to do in order to create success. Success leaves clues. Yes, you can go and find them everywhere. You can go and find them everywhere. You can read a book and find them. You can, you can go on YouTube and type in any type of upline or, or um, top leader and you can find a YouTube channel where you can start watching things, right? You can go to Google. You can go and Google things. You can literally go research books on network marketing and find whatever you need. So when it comes down to it, it's never about your enroller and it's not about the company. It's the lack is not in the lack of resources. There is no lack in time, right? You make time for things that are priority to you. Is changing your life a priority to you? That's the question you should be asking yourself. That's what you should be blaming it on. We can't blame our laziness on everybody else. We can't put that on somebody else right? Because we are in control of what our own two feet do. We are in control of what our hands do, what our mind does and everything. 
So I wanted to share this with you guys today because it was three years ago. The girl that got me started quit. And I could be like everybody else that joined her at that same exact time. And I could have quit right with all of them. With every single one of them. I could have just thrown in the towel. Or I could have kept going. And I could have looked up things up. I could have went and researched. I could have joined every single opportunity call that I, I was invited to. I could have gotten on every single training that I was offered right? They're all available for you. Our team specifically, we have ones Monday through Thursday. Then we have one on Sunday too. Like we have them every single day. If you're not showing up to them, that's on you. That is not on anybody else. If you're not being resourceful and going and looking up on YouTube, you're, you're a diamond lead, diamond and above leader. That's on you. Nobody can can go to YouTube and type it in and force you to pry your eyes open and watch it. Nobody can force you to put aside watching Netflix so that you can watch a training, right? Nobody can force you to not, um, you know, just sit there and do nothing and Facebook scroll and work your business instead. Nobody can tell you what to do. Nobody can force you to do it. You are the only one who is in control of that. So the next time that you, you, you say it in your head or you say it out loud that I'm not successful because it just doesn't work for me, right? You're lying to yourself. You're not being honest with yourself. You're telling yourself a lie so you can get out of it easy so that you don't look like the, the lazy one. So that you don't look bad to everybody else. So you sugarcoat it. So you say it in a way where it blame it puts the blame on something else. It's not that the network marketing company doesn't work. It's not that the system doesn't work. It's not that your enroller was not there for you. It's that you are not there for yourself. You are not there for your dreams. You are not all in on that dream that you keep talking about. You haven't made the decision. You're not making the decision. So I'm going to challenge you guys to stop putting the blame on everybody else. This is something I had to do for myself and I had to pull it from within because I wanted to blame everybody else so bad. So bad. I was so used to doing that. That's a mindset and it's a poor one. So we got to get over this fact of it's everybody else's fault. It is your fault if you're successful. It is your fault if you're not successful. So go out there, set yourself a goal and show up for it one day at a time. And the next time that something happens, No matter what it is, if you're successful, blame it on you. You did it, right? If you're successful, you did it. If you're not successful, you did it, no matter what. So get out there and get it done. I love you guys so much, and I hope you have a great day.